Xielong-2 is China's fourth polar research vessel, following Xiangyang Hong-10, GD, and Xielong, but also China's first built polar research icebreaker. The total length of about 122.5 meters, the displacement of nearly 14,000 tons, the total installed power of 23.2 megawatts, and capacity of 90 people. Xielong-2 uses two 7.5 megawatt icebreaking pod thrusters, is the world's first use of a head in a stern two-way icebreaking technology of the Polar Research Icebreaker. Hull strength reach PC3 level for the international polar mainstream of the medium-sized icebreaker type. Bidirectional icebreaking has the ability to break 1.5 meters of ice and 0.2 meters of snow with a speed of 2 to 3 knots. The stern icebreaking can be achieved in 20 meters first year ice ridge, including 4 meter stacking layer plus 20 meter snow layer is not stuck to meet the unlimited navigation and operational needs of the flight area. Xielong-2 is an international advanced level of polar research icebreaker. The ship is equipped with deep and medium water multi-beam system, deep sea shallow stratigraphic profiler, biological research evaluation echo integrator system, underwater omnidirectional sonar, ultra short baseline, 10,000 meter sounder, and other acoustic equipment to meet the needs of bed fine measurement and detection. The design of the bottom box keel of the bow ship ensures that the acoustic transducer is protected from bubbles and shredded ice, while ensuring the economy of the ship's navigation. At midship, there is a 160 square meter moon pool workshop and a CTD truck integrated crane for equipment transportation, outboard net trawling, and CTD operation and other needs. There is a moon pool with dimensions of 3.2 meters by 3.2 meters for CTD operation in a region of ice or harsh areas. The ship's stern is equipped with an open working deck of 600 square meters, a 30-ton tail A-frame for equipment retraction and trawl operations and a column-shaped sampling and retrieving device with starboard pie frames for 22-meter long column gravity piston sampling tubes. There are eight slots for standard 20-foot container laboratories on the after deck. The vessel is equipped with a 240-channel seismic detection system for the study of submarine tectonics. There is a centralized control room on the ship's starboard side for the centralized operation and control of winches and underwater equipment. The vessel has more than 580 square meters of experimental space that includes two wet, one dry, and one low temperature laboratories. They have a flexible design. The floor of the main laboratories is uniformly equipped with anchor bolts, so the benches can be arranged flexibly according to the crew's task. Xielong-2 uses a clean design. In addition to meet the latest polar rules in the prevention of pollution requirements, the ship generator set exhaust pipe are equipped with reducing carbon monoxide emission of SCR devices, better than the International Maritime Organization's most stringent. The cabin humanized design, reasonable layout, comfortable, and equipped with telemedicine diagnostic system. In the living area also set up a reading room, gym, and other, which greatly enriched the amateur life of the expedition team members. The vessel has a Leonardo AW-169 helicopter for undertaking missions such as finding ice lanes, emergency rescue, personnel transportation, remote research work, and lifting materials. The ship can also carry 30 additional standard 20-foot container supplies and 750 tons of polar oil to supplement the logistical supplies at research stations. Polar regions have important effects in terms of the climate, economy, and science of China. And the launch of the Xielong-2 allows China to further understand the polar oceans. Heading to the sea in full sail, braving the wind and the waves, 